Ah, so many lights. What's going on? Ah, uh, my birthday. What the heck? Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm ten? I'm so proud of you. If only your mother... Congratulations, young man. Oh. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, Who are when you, you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. You're crazy. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. Uh, You'll be huh. your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I don't like you that much. Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. All right, seems fun to me. Oh, happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> huh. Your dad was afraid you were on to us, but I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You didn't fool me. I just pretended not to know. Yeah. You didn't fool me, I just pretended not to know. You're such a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? I have really no, I've not, I have no idea. Ah, I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Grogna! 14, and with no missing pages. Sweet. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not, imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was 10 once. Well... I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday! Yay! We got a Grogna, the bump, the barbarian. Now, basically, we'll just this is the Pip Boy, the thing you're going to be resorting to a lot in the adventure, and this is the, the book which you get skilled by one in that specific area. But I just decided to waste it right now because, eh, I felt like it. And we're just w moving around, getting used to controls, and Happy we got. Birthday. Oh look, an old lady. Let's talk Are to you her. Having a nice party. Ten years old. My my my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Yeah, I'll say. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and eat this right now. Mainly because I can. Yeah. Sweet roll for the win. Ooh. What's going on? Wait. Oh. Oh my gosh! What's going on? You're you're kicking my cake! What the hell? Damn it! Sucks! Why am I spinning around here? Holy crap, I look good for a kid. Yeah, anyway, I'm talking to this guy. It's really cool. Did you fix it up for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. Basically, the, also one other thing to uh, notice that you can also select the dialogue of your specific, of the specifics uh, character choices. And that stupid robot destroyed the cake! Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Oh, me no like you. You do look hungry. What, your mom drank up all the ration coupons again? Yeah. Don't you talk about my mom, you little punk. Oh, what's the matter? You gonna take that me? Come on, do it, do it, come on. Oh, damn! Oh! Leave him alone. What is that? One of the 3,000 A models? What piece of junk? You alright, son? I think you have to wind it up every morning. Oh, that stunks. Thanks for coming, Stanley. I know you were busy with the water purifier. <sighs> oh, well. All that stuff is happening right around here. The commentary is going very slow here. Hopefully, we can we can get, speed things up a little bit. What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. He's lucky Goma stopped the fight before I really hurt him. 
Right. That's exactly what I was thinking. Shit. What? You don't have faith in me? What the heck? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. Hmm. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Really? Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Okay. Anyway, let's go up and see what this birthday present is. Oh, holy crap. Sexy lady. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. They, yeah, my dad and Amada grew through a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. Oh my gosh, you changed my diapers? That means you touched my wee wee? Wait, what? With your very own Pip Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem just for you. I hope you like it. Thank you. I will treasure it always. Is that all? Seriously. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Yeah. And also one little other thing. The note will be placed under the data part of the pit boy and written right down here. Fonts too too small to see, so I'm not gonna read it. You're pro you're, you're welcome to pause it if you want to read it, but I'm not gonna do that. So let's head on down to the reactor bay very carefully as I, with my little hat, move around places. What are you doing down here, young man? Holy crap! Where did you I come from? Kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Hey, I'm not a kid. I'm ten years old. <laughs> you sure are, Pip Boy, and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Really? Surprise? I'm gonna love- I love surprises. Something like that. Oh yeah, spin right here. And, holy crap, you surprised, surprised me again. What kind of surprise? The overseer gave you your pit boy and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> what the? How does a kid have a switchblade? Give it a try. Here? We can't shoot a gun here. We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Okay, so in this in this part, I'm guessing we are uh, firing a gun for the first time ever. So that's awesome. Let's walk. Follow the guy. Follow the guy. Follow this guy with a lab coat. Yeah. Follow the guy. All that stuff. And wait for it. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. This is so great. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Um, you know what? I will thank him. Hey, Jonas. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. Thanks a lot, Jonas. This is really cool. Hey, you don't turn 10 every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. Sweet. Smoking like a true guy. Let's do this. All right. Let's shoot the gun. Boom. Bye-bye. Fire the gun. Fire the gun. And we for it. Gunfire. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Red Roach. Time for the new thing. The Vault is Tech Assisted Targeting System, also otherwise known as VATS. I'm going to be using this a lot during the, the during the time I'm playing. Basically, it's where you shoot stuff, and I missed the second shot. Crap. So I'll just go ahead and shoot like that. Booyah. Take you down. Basically, Vault VATS allows you to um, target enemies very Good simply. Work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Sweet. Hey, Jonas. Get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Yay! Awesome! I'm gonna take a picture, 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 and wait for it. Oh my gosh! Flashing light! What's happening? Not again! Ah! Going through the light, going through the light. Six years later. Now wait. I'm not. Si I'm not ten anymore. Oh my gosh! What's going on? I'm turning in. Oh, time warp. Go! Bright little light with so many voices. What the? Oh. Hey, Dad. As far How's it as going? I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your goat exam. Go on now. You've got a goat to take. Ugh. 
if you say so, Dad. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. I was 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Great. Come on. It's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Uh, anything I need to know about the goat? A generalized occupational aptitude test. Goat. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have <sighs> here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Uh, do we have to die in the fall? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Is it true, Dad? Was everyone born in the vault? That's what the Overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Okay, let's see, what else? Can you talk about, you know, Mom? Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. Ooh, about passionate. About life, about love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the <laughs> happiest I had ever seen her. Ah. Uh, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling uh. and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. Oh my gosh, you were on to me! Your mother's ghost Why can't I stop? Your only child became a, a garbage burner. <laughs> okay, that's done with that. Bye, Dad. Take care, son. I got out of here. And good luck.